Hello friends and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cool effect before and after Edge Wipe Effect in DaVinci Resolve. It's super easy, it's super fast and it works magic. Let me show you how it's done. In order for this effect to work, you need to start with the finishing product. Let's say you want to add the wipe effect to this clip. Perfect, no problem. So we have to start with dividing this clip in two different parts. So I want to press B and just cut this clip over here and we're going to have a wipe coming here and another wipe coming somewhere over there. So I'm, I want to do two wipes because I think it's more efficient when you do just one and then the second one especially for color correction. But you know you can do just one to show people before and after. Okay now what we need to do is press A or just go and click on this one and go to color page over here. And let's see, you see, we've got three separate clips. If your clips are not selected, you can't see the clips, just go over here and click on clips. Perfect, okay, so we've got our three clips over here. So for the first clip, what you have to do, you have to go and select all your nodes and delete them. It doesn't matter how many you have, okay? No problem. And then the second one, you want to have like, and not to the final result, but somewhere in between the final, somewhere in the middle. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go over here. You see, these are uh, completely um, similar. So I'm gonna go now and tweak a little bit the second clip over here, probably go to saturation and just go a little bit and desaturate this clip. And maybe what I can do here, maybe just go and raise the highlights a little bit just to make it different. So you see this is going to be the first clip, this is going to be the second, and this is going to be the third. So you can actually see the difference. Okay, maybe I'm going to go here to temperature and I'm going to go and get this temperature just a little bit colder. So we have a little bit of um, a big um, separation or big difference. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so once this is done, once you have three separate clips that look different, okay, second, and then the final result is this one, okay? I mean, it really doesn't matter what's in between here because this is just for the showcasing purposes. You're not going to use this anywhere. So you can tweak this in the middle how you want, okay? The final result is this one. This is what matters. So I'm going to go now back to my edit page over here. Now we need the transition. So I'm going to go here to video transition over here. If you don't see this, go to effects and toggle effects on, okay? Toggle effects on, go to video transition here and just search edge wipe. So get one and put it there and get the second one and put it there. So these are two transitions. I'm going to go here and make it just a little bit bigger so we can see better what's going on here. So I've got two transitions, one and two. Okay, so now in order to see where the settings of the transition are, you have to go here on the right top corner to inspector, toggle inspector on, and then you will see under transitions, you will find the settings for these two transitions. Okay, so let me go to the first one and they need to be similar. And let's just tweak a little bit the transitions. If I go now and play, you can see the transition comes from um, down, up. We don't need this one. So we need to go here to the angle and adjust the angle to 90. So I'm going to go here and just type 90, press enter. Excellent. And I'm going to go and make the border. Normally for the border, I prefer to have a 15. So you have a white border over here, you see, and the color. I like the color black. Boom. Okay. And ease in and out. I like to have it in and out and you'll see what I mean by that. What I mean by that is when I play, you see it goes, it starts slowly and then goes faster. Okay. So now I don't like the length of this transition. The duration of this transition is one second. I prefer it to be 1.5 seconds or two seconds, but I think 1.5 is ideal. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go to my second transition over here and have the same settings here as well. Okay, so I click on the second transition, go here, 1.5, boom, um, angle is 90, boom, border, let me see what the board on this side. So the board on this side is 15. I can have the board on this side 
15 as well, press enter, and then ease, I'm gonna have it in and out, and I think that's it. And if I play the clip now, look what's happening. One, two, beautiful. What I didn't do, I didn't put the color black here. You see, when you put the black color here of this line, so basically you can see it better when it, when it actually changes. So let's play again. One, two, beautiful. And you can have as many um, transition, edge transitions as you want. I could have, you know, I could have one more here, let's say, if I want to add another effect. But I think it looks pretty good like this. One, two, fantastic. And that's all. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it interesting and useful and you got some value out of it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing and why not leave me a comment below and let me know if you enjoyed this video and you know, what can I do to improve? I'll catch you guys in the next one. Happy creation and take care. Bye-bye.